Okay, so this last identification is on the Nuremberg trials, which occurred after World War II was over and after the Holocaust was over. And they were trials of Nazi war criminals in 1945. Here's a newspaper article on the trials in which there were big elaborate trials on, on some of the, the, the really high-ranking Nazi war criminals. And the trials were, were held by, by um, judges from the four different countries that were now occupying Germany. France, England, the United States, and the Soviets, or the Russians. Were, were the judges, representatives from those countries. So uh, we see 24 top Nazis were, were indicted for atrocities in the war and during the Holocaust. So in the end, uh, some received long prison sentences. Like it says here, 10 were hung uh, during one of the worst of the Nazi uh, regime um, committed suicide by poison in his cell. Um, so uh, a number of the, the lower, um, some of the guards and people didn't, did not, um, were not prosecuted um, as uh, the goals of the trials were, were to go after the, the higher uh, ups. Uh, so as a result of some of the writings of the philosophy of the trial, um, a Nuremberg Charter was created, which is called the Nuremberg Principle, or Principles. And the three main principles that were to be used in the future, to uh, because during the trial they had to discuss what is a war crime. And the three main principles that they came up with for future um, war crimes trials uh, and for international law were these three main principles. And that was uh, number one, crimes against peace. Number two, war crimes. And number three, crimes against humanity. So crimes against peace would be like invasions of countries like Hitler did and just decimating these countries would be considered a crime against peace. A war crime would be a, a violent act committed on civilians, usually such as killing hostages. Um, and then the third is crimes against humanity, uh, which was really referring to things like death camps and genocide. And those are still being used in war crimes trials, even today in international law and international courts. So those, uh, that would be the Nuremberg trials and then also its effects on international law, uh, even to this day.